Good morning everyone, I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. Very recently I presented a video on the parabolic arch. We use the method of exhaustion by Archimedes. Here we're doing everything by means of integral calculus route, but please keep in mind this. When you use the Archimedes route, you get this as a specific area formula, two or three base times height. You know we're looking at a parabolic arch. And from here to here is your height, and then here to here is your base. It gives you the area of all of that. Anyhow, when you use the integral calculus route, you do not get this. Simply because of the procedures which are involved, you get something which is equal to this, but then you have to reconcile it to show that it's equivalent. But allow me to show you how the integral calculus route can be of benefit. Using integral calculus, you can come up with an area formula for the parabolic arch. And we will show you x squared is equal to 4py, you know, represents a upward facing parabola but you see over here we have a p variable or a p constant we don't want to deal with p because it complicates things so let's show you a different route the different route will be this we are going to present you a parabolic arch which is limited of course and similar to what you have over there consider this equation right here f of x is equal to a x squared plus h you know normally there's a k over here h comma k being ver vertex I'm purposely switching the K to an H only so I can mirror this formula as close as possible. I have an H over there and I have an H over here. This right here represents a parabola which is facing upwards but it has been translated up. If you modify this, you can generate an equation, a general equation form for that and you know it will be minus AX squared plus H. Now you're looking at a downward facing parabola simply by means of this minus and it's shifted up, your vertex here is 0 comma h, which is good. The minus h just represents a factor in terms of vertical stretch and vertical compression because you have to have that. You can have a parabola which is quite stretched, you can have a parabola which is quite broad, which is vertically not stretched, you can have that, but that is all to do with the a. And you must bring in the a over here, so you can account for that. But this here represents our formula. I have this now, I need to know these points. What are these points? Everything here will be done with regards to dx integral. How can you determine these points? Well, how about this? You have the equation y is equal to minus ax squared plus h solve for x. When you have a x intercept, which is what we're trying to determine, y is always equal to zero for an x intercept. So zero is equal to minus ax squared plus h, minus ax squared is equal to minus h, x squared is equal to h over a. We're just algebraically solving for x, x is equal to plus and minus root h over a, all in a root. That's telling you, well, let's put it here. This is minus root h over root a comma zero. And you know, this here will be positive root h divided by root a comma zero. You can put it all under a single radical or you can separate it here. It doesn't matter. That's the properties of radicals. Either way is fine. Now we have everything we need for our integral. We have a function which is right here before you, minus ax squared plus h. We have our limits. Let's create our integral area with respect to x for this area right here. It's gonna be equal to our limits, but I wanna use the even function property. If I were to look everything from here, I can just do from zero up to here and then times two, which is what I wanna do, zero up to my limit, root h over a, root, all including h over a, and then I have minus ax squared plus h dx. This here is going to help me get to a formula for the parabolic arch area, and it's good. Minus ax cubed over 3 plus hx, because x here is our variable. We have a 2 sitting out, and then we're looking here from h and a within a root and 0. Don't put 0, just put this you're gonna have this coming into places of x, minus a times root h over a to the power of three, divided by three plus h, and then root h over a. You have a common denominator. Let me clean this parentheses out. You have to do all of this. You have a common denominator three, you have a two sitting out. This will just be minus a, but now I'm gonna write it in an exponential form root of h over a, all of it, which is under a square root to the power of three is really three over two. Plus, one goes in three, three times, you'll have a three h, and then you'll have here h over a to the power of one over two. Take this two over three and push it out. That's what I'm doing. Isolate here a h over a to the power of one over two, which you can. You'll have here a minus a 
times h over a because when I isolated a root h over a, I'm having h over a to the power of 2 over 2, which is just 1 plus 3a. Clean it out. Minus a minus a, they cut each other. You have a minus h plus 3h. You know what you're getting right here? 2h. All of this is boiling down to a 2h which I'll bring for you right within here. This is what we have so far, 2 over 3 parentheses root h divided by a, the quotient within a root times 2h. This 2h can come outside making it 4h divided by 3 and then here you can just write this as root h over a. I find that a little messy. I want to put it in a good way and this is how I'm going to do it for you. It's a 4h over 3 and then let's do a long radical h divided by a. This right here is your formula for a parabolic arch and it is right. I'll prove it to you to be right and by proving it we will have reconciled it with this. And let's show it to you. Now we're going to prove that this formula is good for you utilizing this as an example. If you were to complete the square over here but before you complete the square you can determine your x-intercepts. If x is equal to 0 obviously you're having an origin in intercept. You can also do minus 2x and then you will have x plus 6. You are obviously getting over here a minus 6 comma 0 as a x intercept which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Now we have to determine our vertex. Complete the square minus 2 into x squared plus 6x. Minus 2 into x squared plus 6x. Minus 2 into x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to minus 18. You're completing the square procedure over here and you're getting a plus 18 is equal to 0, you're having a minus 2 and then x plus 3 whole square plus 18. You are getting a vertex over here which is going to be minus 3 comma 18. When you graph it out minus 3 comma 18 is somewhere up over here and then you're having a 0 comma 0 and a minus 6 comma 0 and you can limit the domain and this here represents your parabola. But from here you can easily determine my base here is 6 because if you're looking at your x intercepts the distance here is a 6 your height is an 18, base is equal to 6, h is equal to 18, area over here based on this formula we will put it in. We'll put it here for you and show it to you. You have a 2 divided by 3 times 18 times 6. A, 7, 2, a 72 comes out, 72 units squared for this parabolic arch. Now we put everything over here. But we have to decipher and you have to go through this procedure to see what h and a are. h here is easy, it's 18. But what is a over here? a here is this. Because you've written everything here in the standard form. f of x is equal to a into x minus h whole square plus k. Don't worry about the h and the k co-mingling here in terms of representation. But you know what I'm talking about, the vertex here. This a over here is represented here by means of a 2. a here is a 2. So we've gotten that. That's our vertical stretch, vertical compression, or the degree of vertical stretching. Put these h and a values here in this equation and then it will work out, I promise you. You have an a rule right over here, that's a square root of a 9 which is a 3. From here you're getting a 3, you're doing 4 times that h value 18 times a 3 then divided by a 3 which is here in the denominator and you're getting a 72 and it's working out. So the area coming from here is a 72 as well. So your formulas for parabolic arch are this by means of the Archimedes method of exhaustion. It's 2 or 3 base times height or it's this by means of integral calculus where and when you are using this form of convention ax squared plus h where h could be synonymously used as a k for up and down translation but I purposely brought h over here just to mirror at least one variable with that. And a you know is going to be your vertical compression or stretching but for h over 3 root h over a is good your intercepts and all of this area and I use the even function property of integrals but this equation here formula is good for a parabolic arch. You can either look at both of these. This is the conventional formula. This here is perhaps you can say a non-conventional formula which we have derived using this representation. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.